I'm all about protecting the environment. Reusable water bottles have helped. I have them, I use them, I love them, but could reusing it without washing them create a danger to your health? We did a little investigation <laughs> of our own. We grabbed five water bottles off the desks here in our production office. Each one, of course, has a different design, some plastic, some metal. We sent them off to our friends at ABC Labs, the swabs, to see how dirty they may be. The plastic. Okay, so we had, we had obviously bacteria grew. Um, none that were particularly worrisome, but uh, mold. Um, mo there was yeast and mold. And I have to say that one of the things I worry about whenever I see people with plastic bottles is if you have a plastic bottle and it has areas in it that are hard to clean. For instance, if you put it in the washer and the way that the bottle is shaped doesn't allow water to get in and clean it out, you've gotta be really resilient with your cleaning methods because as we know, mold, once it sets in, it loves these moisture filled environments. It'll just keep growing and growing. For people with allergies or asthma, it can create a real problem. Or if you're immunocompromised, when you look at the, the glass, um, and it grew something called Acinetobacter, which is a bacteria that in an immunocompromised individual could cause harm. The metal, same thing, a couple of different bacteria were grown that if you're immunocompromised. My concern here, and I always, always walk this fine line, is I don't wanna freak people out to the point where they feel like they have to be overly cleanly. We're too cleanly in this society. But if you're growing mold in your water bottle... Well, but based on the, the results from the lab, Travis, what's the best alternative for someone who wants to be environmentally conscious and doesn't want to, you know, use 1,200 different plastic bottles that just really hurt the environment? Which of those are our best option? I use a one-liter BPA-free plastic water bottle with a, with a big lid. And if I put that in the dishwasher, it, well, I know water's getting in it just like a regular glass that you, you don't have to that's use that brush on it, that scrub, no, baby bottle I don't brush. Use, you notice the thing that's interesting about these is they all have very small mouths. Yeah. So you think, well, you put that in the dishwasher, realistically, let's, let's take this bottle as an example. How much water's really getting in there? And, you know, the force of that water, sorry, it's not really getting up underneath in here. Mm -hmm. So bacteria, mold, it can get into these hard to reach areas. If you do have a bottle like that, then yeah, you wanna invest in one of these little bristle brushes and clean into those areas where mold might evolve. But again, for me, I just, I like the big, Especially big open Especially in the mouth. caps, and if you like using the straw, the, the straw is another area where, where bacteria and mold potentially are gonna have a heyday. But maybe have two of those have one, you know, you use one, one's being washed, recycle it. I, I don't see a problem either if you're drinking out of a plastic bottle. Yeah, you we finish were it, about you, can, that. you can rinse that, you can reuse that. I mean, I do that. When you get in trouble is when you look at your bottle, it's been sitting there, you let it stand, and you actually, it gets murky. Well, that's, that's, <laughs> yeah, that's a little bizarre. bit of a red flag. I love your advice, and, and I do that. You have a couple of different bottles and you use a rotation. So, and I don't, look. I don't clean my water bottle after every single use. As soon as it's empty of water, I'm not going to throw it in the dishwasher. But, but, but the I think the things. big thing is that bacteria and mold are everywhere. That you're, there's a little bit of undetected mold on your food, probably a lot, bacteria, and do we get sick? No. And I said that's what I spent my whole summer doing, researching bacteria and the, the healthy bacteria that live on our skin, that live in our guts, and they're so important. We live in a time where we're so afraid of any germ, and we're learning that it's, it's biting us in our rear ends. It literally, more autoimmune disease, we're finding a link between if you don't have a broad, diverse array of bacteria on your living person, you're more likely to be obese. You're more likely to, to suffer from chronic illnesses. Right, so, especially with kids. Well, if you want info, we're gonna have some in terms of proper cleaning techniques on our website. Uh, we'll be right back.